Hey guys, so a while back I found this cool slide rule in an old service manual that I had picked up at a garage sale. I guess they were using it as a bookmark or something. Check this thing out. It's made out of cardboard and it's from Stancor, Standard Transformer Corporation. So this would have been some kind of freebie promotional item that they would have given out. It dates back to 1945 and was made by the Multi-Slide Instrument Corp in Chicago. Despite being made out of cardboard, this was a pretty powerful tool. Slide rules are basically analog calculators. This one has six scales on the front. The A and B scales are your coarse scales for doing square roots. These go from 1 to 10 and then all the way up to 100. The C and D scales are your finer precision scales. This just goes from 1 to 10, and these are for basic multiplication, which is pretty much all I know how to do on these. You'll notice the divisions on the scales are not perfectly even. Going from 1 to 2 is this much, but from 2 to 3, it's only this much. And then from 3 to 4, it's even less. So the farther out on the scale you go, the less precise it's going to be. The middle scales can slide around. This part is actually called the slip stick. I didn't make that up. That's what it's called. And then there's a clear plastic slider with a center line marked on it. That is called our cursor. So to use this, if we wanted to say multiply 2 times 4, we would slide the slip stick so the 1 on the C scale lines up with the 2 on the D scale. Then we'll slide our cursor to line up with the number that we want to multiply by, the 4 on the C scale. Then we follow the cursor line down and the number it's pointing to on the D scale is our answer. Eight. If you want to work with numbers larger than 10, you have to add the zeros on yourself. So for 20 times 40, we do the same thing we did before. Line this up with the 2, except now it would be 20, and the 4, which would now be 40. And then for our answer, we'd have to remember in our head to add two extra zeros to it. So instead of 8, we're at 800. Same thing for decimal points. 20 times 0.4 is still 8, but you have to know to add the 0 for the 20, which would make it 80, but then you have to move the decimal point back over from the 0.4, which takes you back to 8.0. Yeah, you still have to do a lot of this stuff in your head, and it can get kind of migraine-inducing sometimes. This one has a CI scale in the middle, that scale is the opposite or inverse of the C scale. That one's for calculating reciprocals. The K scale is for cubin. Not cubin, cubing. Multiplying by the power of 3. There's also some cool charts on here for doing unit conversions. So we can use this to convert stuff from normal to metric. So say if we wanted to convert inches to centimeters, we would need to set each inch opposite to 2.54. So to convert 2 inches into centimeters, we set the 1 on our C scale to the 2 on our D scale for inches, then set our cursor to 2.54 on the C scale, and then our answer here is on the D scale. It should be 5.08. And you can see here, we're right next to 5.1, so you're not going to get super duper accurate with this. These are good for basic calculations out in the field. This slide rule also has a four-place logarithm table in the middle here. This is more migraine-inducing stuff. And there's even more stuff on the back. Here we have a trigonomic table. Yeah, I'm starting to get triggered by all this math stuff. And then another set of five scales. The S scale is for calculating sines. L is for log 10. And T is for tangent. 
Now on the back scale, there is no cursor. So if you wanted to use these scales, you'd have to slide out the cursor from the front side. It's just a clear piece of plastic. And then slide it back in on the back side. I don't know if this one is missing the back cursor or if it never came with one, since this was likely a cheap freebie item that the company gave away. Either way, it's a neat relic. I'll probably just display this in my office somewhere. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff. I have a modest collection of slide rules that I've accumulated over the years that I could do future videos on. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later. Bye.